Hi guys, in today's episode I'm going to show you how I identify magnesium deficiency in my pepper and tomato plants and also what I do to treat it, how I apply it, of course it's Epsom salt, you probably all know that, and also how I apply Epsom salt to my hibiscus uh, to produce bigger and brighter blooms. And um, one of the signs of magnesium deficiency in your plant is when the bottom uh, leaves of your plant, the older leaves, turn yellow and the veins are still dark green and also the edge, the outside of the leaf, it's yellowing but the middle is still green. And I will show you a close-up of my pepper plants and my tomato plants. And uh, also uh, below this video in the description section I'm going to put a link to an article uh, from University of Arizona. I know, go some devils but ASU didn't have any articles like this so I had to use University of Arizona. However, um, in this article there is a table of all the minerals that your plant needs and also what the signs are of each deficiency. So let's say if it's magnesium what the signs are, if it's iron what the signs are and so forth. Uh, very helpful actually and it applies to all plants not just tomatoes or peppers. So you can use this video and this article and table for other plants that you grow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Epsom salt. And you all know that I do use Epsom salt a lot. Uh, however, because it's so hot here, I would mix the Epsom salt, one tablespoon of Epsom salt in one gallon of water and water my plants, not spray the leaves because it's so hot here, I'm worried I'm going to burn the leaves if I spray them. But in the past couple of days we had some rain, the weather cooled down, it's 100 degrees if you can call this cooling down. But today I can spray the leaves so I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this. So I will do the same thing, I will apply, I will put one tablespoon of Epsom salt in one gallon of water. And what I do is just to assure that the Epsom salt has dissolved completely in the water, is I would, uh, so this is half a gallon and I used half a tablespoon of Epsom salt. But what I did is I filled up the bottle halfway through and then uh, put the Epsom salt, that was a few hours ago, and let it sit and uh, I, I would say, I don't know, two hours, it will dissolve for sure in two hours. But then I uh, added the rest of the water, shook it up pretty well and uh, now I am going to fill up my spray bottle and show you how I'm going to do it. But first I'm going to show you uh, the leaves of my plants. Forget about that. So, I'm going to go get the camera closer and show you the leaves of my plants. So, as you can see over here, the bottom of the leaf is starting to yellow. Here is another one. There, this is a better, better shot. And as I said, I do feed these guys Epsom salt. However, I put it into the soil and I'm assuming a lot of it just washes off since it's a container and uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't help as much as if you spray the leaves. So I'm gonna spray the leaves now. I'll take you and show you my tomato plants. So this is what the leaves on some of my tomato plants look like. You see how they're yellowing, but the veins are still dark green. Probably move my electronics away. And I will start by spraying the top of the leaf. Make sure you water them very, very well. All right, and then I will come around and I will do the underneath of the leaf. So with my tomato plants, I'm gonna start from the top and make my way all the way to the bottom, spraying the top of the leaves. And then I will do the reverse thing. I will start from the bottom and make my way up all the way to the top of the plant, spraying the, the bottom side of the leaves. I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna take care of the hibiscus. So with the hibiscus, I'm gonna spray the top of the leaves and then I will do the bottom side of the leaves as well. So ideally you have to test your soil to see if you have any deficiencies. But sometimes your plants talk to you and they give you signs. That's why you should check out this link for the article from University of Arizona with the mineral deficiencies and the signs of that particular deficiency. And this is what happened because I do give my plants uh, Epsom salt, water them with Epsom salt, but clearly that didn't work. So I had to spray them and we'll see how that works out. And one last thing, guys. Have a great, great, great weekend. Celebrate the birthday of our country with your family. Have a wonderful time. And also in the description section, I'm gonna put another link to a video by Lisa from Lisa's World. She made this dish that includes strawberries, blueberries, and white chocolate. So 
it's very patriotic it's very 4th of july and it looks really good so i'm gonna try and make that as well thank you so much for watching guys and if you have any questions please put them in the comment section below if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if this is your first time visiting my channel and you like this video and you want to see more videos like this please subscribe to my channel thank you guys and until next time happy gardening bye I had to do some in-depth research on the internet and read quite a few university articles and I will show you why your tomato 